Well, hello, my math friends, and welcome back to school, and welcome to 2015. I hope you all had a great break, enjoyed yourself, hope you had a time to rest a little bit and relax. I had a wonderful time. I didn't travel anywhere, just stayed home, spent time with friends and with family, um, doing some cooking, just doing some of the things that I like, putzing around the house a bit. So I hope everyone else had a wonderful time, and you're ready to roll up your sleeves, as we say and we'll get busy. We've got two weeks left to get ready for these final exams, and that's what I would like to really concentrate on for these last couple weeks is get everyone prepared. So just a couple things on, on, along those lines. Number one, I wanna just remind you of that most powerful, powerful entity that you control that's part of us all as a human being. It's our consciousness. It is so powerful. It can do so much good for you. But learn to control it, learn to interact with it and one of the best ways to do that is just to pay attention to what you pay attention to. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very simple idea but it's very powerful and a lot of us we just don't spend a lot of time on it. So remind yourself always what you pay attention to is kind of where your consciousness grows to. Learn, cultivate, develop, practice controlling your attention. It's a skill that will serve you well in all areas of your life and it's a great skill just to practice on with your math. So that's number one thing, remind yourself so that I will always keep reminding you, be mindful of where you attend, what you attend to. For the next two weeks put a lot of attention on math, especially in here, that would be serve you very well. Number two, I just want to um, express my gratitude to everyone. We had a wonderful first half of the year. I learned a lot just about working with um, young students with knife cutters I haven't worked with you guys in a while working in the math so it's been really challenging for me and it's been very rewarding it's been a lot of fun in many different ways so really uh, thankful for working with you and looking forward to continuing our partnership um, as we work to master this algebra these algebra concepts and then lastly to get to this final exam I put together an E2020 course, a new one for everyone, and what I did is I turned off everything except for the practice problems and the quizzes. So there's no vocabulary, no lessons, nothing. It's just streamlined. It's just an opportunity for all of you to practice, practice, practice. And I only turned on the um, topics that will be on your final exams. So I would like to spend the next couple weeks having everybody be very, very focused on getting ready for those finals. Um, the more practice problems you can do, the better you're going to, number one, you're going to kind of measure yourself. You're going to know problems that you keep getting wrong, what are you doing wrong? We'll figure those out. You'll learn from it. Problems that you get right, hey, get them right six, seven, eight, nine times in a row. And when you do that, you start to really gain confidence. And that's a confidence that can't be shooken easily. Confidence that comes from like just self-talk. Like if you just say, oh, I'm going to do well, I'm going to do well. That kind of confidence is very shaky especially in math. You want to have confidence that comes from a strong foundation that you know is there. And the way you know it is not because you tell yourself, oh, I know how to do these problems. No. You know it because you've done the problems over and over again. You've done them and you've got them right. That's where your confidence comes from. That's where true confidence comes from performance. So that's what we want to cultivate that these next couple of weeks. My goal is every single one of you at least, at least, at minimum, will pass his or her final exam. And by passing your final exam, it doesn't matter if you haven't handed any homework in, if you've bombed your test, if you can just pass your final exam, you will get credit for the class. And that's very important. Now, many of you, it's not a question of getting credit or not. It's a question of are you going to get an A, are you going to get an A+, you know, A plus. we don't give A pluses, but can you get a, um, a perfect score? That's awesome too. So just take a moment today Think a little bit about it. Set a goal for yourself, an ambitious goal. And it, I don't care if you feel like, oh my God, I haven't learned anything yet. You can do it. In the next two weeks, I looked at it when I put together the final, there's really not that much stuff to master. We can do it together. Um, use your time wisely. So get on your E2020, check out that new, um, that new course. It's called like, um, it's called like you know, exam review. And then also I wanna start to call you back in the back room, just small groups, a few at a time. And we'll just work on um, practicing problems and going over and reviewing the, the, the concepts 
and so I can help clarify any misunderstandings. So it's going to be a great next two weeks. Um, I feel very optimistic about this and looking forward to working with you guys and helping you let me know what I can do for you, um, and I will see you in the real world.